And to combat all men cheat, we have black men don't cheat, which is usually a sentiment that black men say, right? So those things kind of obviously, they clash. Um, but do you, know why, do you know why black men even say that? Enlighten me, enlighten us. <laughs> Black men, it, first of all, it's like jovial. It's kind of like lighthearted. Yeah, shit it's like funny. That. But I That's think true. the more academic piece of it is like. Listen, it's the message right here. Black boy, tell me how you really feel. Because I just want to build with you. Black girl, tell me how you really feel. I want to keep it real with you. I want to live better, eat better. I want to love better, sleep better. Yeah, I want to feel so aligned. I want to talk about if all men cheat. Why men cheat? All, if all men cheat. That video that we watched the other day. Or oh, I don't know if, if you were with yeah, Anthony O'Neill. Yeah, I watched it. Yeah, Ayo. So you're asking me, do all men cheat? And I know we've had this conversation before. And um, I've heard this from you before. This isn't going to be anything new. But yeah, I want to talk about that. Because that's going to be another... What's the incentive of a long-term relationship with someone that's going to cheat on me anyways? What do you, what? do I feel safe? I'm sorry, really quickly. Go ahead. Go ahead. Can I feel safe? Because, I mean, the thought of having a husband is cute. The wedding is cute. All that's cute. Like, being like, oh, my husband. Like, that's cute, you know? It feels good, blah, blah, blah. But in reality, you know, you hear people's reviews, married, married people's reviews on marriage. And they don't really look all that happy. And so it's like, mm, is that the road that I want to go, go down? So that's like another... I think barrier to entry of is it just easier for me to stay single? And I guess I just I want to talk about a female perspective because I'm obviously not a man, but if I'm an attractive woman, getting my itch scratched won't be an issue. Like you said, I can go and I can pay for services. Um, what's the incentive? So yes, do you think all men cheat? Okay. Do you think married people are really happy in relationship? All they, of these the are same. two. These are two different <laughs> questions. Let's start. Let's start with: Do men cheat? Okay. Uh, do all men cheat? No, but the ones that you want do. <laughs> okay. And that's because ninety percent of women want that same dude. Yeah. So you know, this whole expectation of male fidelity is relatively new, mm. right? And I think it's part of. You know, um, and I don't think it's necessarily bad, but I think it's part of uh, female empowerment and things like that. But at the core, the, the message or my message to women is like, the guy who's absolutely not going to cheat is not the guy you want. Right. Because when you're naming stuff, you're naming stuff, oh, you want him to be six foot and you want him to be have money and you want him to be charismatic and you want him to be attractive to a slew of women but not be attracted to any of them. So it's either he's going to be gay, a monk, <laughs> or there's a, there's a likelihood that he's going to cheat. Now, I've said it before. I think cheating is more so about... Um, it's more so about opportunity and maturity. Okay. Right? I, I think men's biology, are we're biologically predisposed to spread our seed. Mm -hmm. That's the reality. Mm -hmm. And we don't have the same cost that women have. Right. Right. Like, uh, you know, yeah, we can both get STDs, but only one of us leaves here with another human being inside them mm -hmm. that they could potentially die carrying to full term. So right. like the, the um, you know what I'm saying? The, the consequences are different. And even like we, we talk about like the chemicals released in a male brain versus a female brain and at what levels, right? Like women, there's a biological incentive for a woman to want to bond. Mm -hmm. Because not only does she need to bond with her, her child's father, she also needs to bond with the baby. So like women thinking that these things don't matter and I can do the same thing men can do and it should be weighed just as heavily. It's not consistent with biology. So for women who cheating is a huge deal, for women who like they just can't get past that, I would have them reevaluate their list and realize that, OK, that six foot thing, maybe I need to compromise that. Mm -hmm. That six figures thing, maybe I need to compromise that. Some women, oh, he got to be in the NBA. He got to be this. He got to be it's that. It's like, like over there. Get, get real. Yeah. Get, get real. Right. right. So 
You know what I'm saying? All men do not cheat. There are some men who even like fit those things that women want who won't cheat, maybe because of religion, maybe because of just, you know, self-control and discipline. And like, it's, it's, uh, you know, it's a, um, kind of self-imposed principle of his. Um, but those types of men are even a smaller minority and a very small minority. And that is, I think should be the biggest conversation because it's, it's interesting that we have all men cheat, which usually is a sentiment that women have. And to combat all men cheat, we have black men don't cheat, which is usually a sentiment that black men say, right? So those things kind of obviously, they clash. Um, but do you, know why, do you know why black men even say that? Enlighten me, enlighten us. Black men, it, first of all, it's like jovial. It's kind of like lighthearted yeah, and shit like funny. that. But I That's think true. the more academic piece of it is like, stop branding us as the face of infidelity. Okay. Stop, stop branding us as like we're the mascot of not just misogyny, yeah. but also male infidelity. Because yeah. that's historically inaccurate. Okay. So maybe it should be black men don't cheat any more than anybody else. So I have a question. What's the difference between black women are abrasive, they don't smile, they're not kind, and then soft girl life? Compare the two between the black men don't cheat and the, the, the soft girl life. Because when you said black men don't cheat is don't brand us as that. But women might say, I want to live a soft girl life, this or that, because I'm tired of being branded as abrasive, mean, blah, 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 blah. Is it not kind of similar? I can see how that could be a little bit complex to put together. Well, think, tell me if you're following me or not. I think the difference, though, generally is like men are expected to pay the price of admission into relationships. Mm -hmm. Right, like women for all intents and purposes just need to show up. I think you can make the argument, well, my makeup costs this much, my outfit costs this much, this, this, and that. But like the expectation is I'm paying for the date. The expectation. But is it not, the, don't do men not, um, aren't men not the ones to like initiate committed relationships or that, initiate but, those things? And, and that's the point. So like if, if we were to use like the college analogy, you're the university, mm -hmm. I'm the one seeking admission. So it's my resume that matters. Like the, the idea is that you're already valuable. I have to prove my value to you to gain access to you. I, I feel differently in modern relationships. And to bring it back to what I was saying previously about when men my age are confronted with committed relationships, men really do hold a lot of the cards when it comes to the relationship, the relationship. No, that's a fact. So if we're going with the analogy of the university or technically the men, not the university mm -mm. and women, the ones being like, Hey, so are we, what are we doing? You have the first right of refusal. And before we even get to that point, there's a bunch For of sex. shit. I understand that, but there's a bunch of shit I have to even do to get in proximity to you. To then disappoint you that I don't want to be in a relationship. So it seems as though this, at some point, the scale absolutely wow. that, that's what that's what i've been saying that's that <laughs> and i think i think that is also a biological thing because like we talk about like rose colored glasses men walk around in rose with, with rose colored glasses mm -hmm. right we, we we walk around pedestalizing women that we want mm -hmm. and then when we get in proximity with her and we realize her breath stink in the morning we realize that you know what i'm saying she's not as fashionable as we thought her skin don't look like that. That's Instagram filters and makeup. Mm -hmm. Then she falls off that pedestal. And especially if sex has been involved, now the roles are flipped. I had to prove myself to you. Now you have to prove yourself to me. Is that where we're missing the mark then? Is we're, missing, we're missing the mark because women don't think they have to. Women, women, women expect the effort that it takes for me to get into proximity to you but women don't expect that there's any effort necessary for you to prove to me that I'm, it's worth taking the risk on you in entering a relationship and things like that, especially marriage in the modern day. Mm -hmm. Because from a legal system, women hold all the cards. Yeah. So, so if, if 
women saw men as valuable, if women saw black men as humans, Mm -hmm. there might be a little bit more consideration about our hesitation with jumping in the relationship. There's a lot for us to lose. Mm -hmm. There's a lot. And and thankfully, there came a point where we have now, oh, relationship is in my hands. Yeah, shit, I'm going to be, you know what I'm saying? Like women are doing 90 day challenges for the, the part that they hold. Yeah. But it's like, as I, I, you should have married me six months ago. Like, no, I need some time. Okay. Okay. So do you think that, um, I don't know if we're, this is kind of going right a little bit, but the, the I need some time comments. Do you think that women are not giving men the, the time or the space to really get to know them? In the beginning, or do you think that black women are rushing and that's what's causing that feeling of pressure, that feeling of, oh, now I have to ghost her. Now I can't leave this situation in an eloquent manner because she pressured me. And I feel like 